This episode on Sailing for Power. The current is pumping. Man Ray, she's out the front end. is pumping. I don't know about you, but I was a bit worried we made a bad sleep deprived decision just then. After a pretty bad sleep the night before, we were stoked to be in this well-protected anchorage where we could base ourselves out of for a few days while exploring the surrounding reef. Gearing up, Anchor going up, for a dive. a moment to waste. <laughs> so excited. All that teasing after uh, <laughs> Lady Elliot. Lady Elliot, all it was was just teasing us. Big trout everywhere. Big trout, big squid, just making me hungry. <laughs> all right, no in more. the housing. You no go. more looking. First order of the day. <laughs> With completely empty freezers, we were on a mission to shoot some fish for dinner. We'd been dreaming of eating trout for months. With very little light left, it was a relief when this small mackerel came in to check me out. Unfortunately, my GoPro missed all the action as I was shooting a little low. My hand was way too close to this mackerel's teeth for my liking. Having lost a fingertip to one of these in the past, I didn't want to risk it. snip your mono. These Spanish, they have the sharpest teeth like razors. I'm actually missing the top of my fingertip as are a lot of people due to these animals. So I shot it through the jaw when I was pulling him in to knife him. <laughs> he was just coming straight at me because it was in the head. It was like pulling him in face first. I was like fire out and there's so many sharks around. That's why I asked Michael for a second shot straight away because I didn't want to lose it. Yeah, she goes Second shoot it, second shoot it, and I was like, you've shot it in the head, there's no need a second shoot. Yeah, but I was like, it's not hurt at all. That's crazy, look at that shot. Alright, alright. Right. No, there's a bit of a chore this afternoon, wasn't it? We couldn't find anything. We couldn't find a trout to save our lives. Spanish, perfect boat size. Very happy. Very happy. There's a shark down there already waiting for dinner. Some of the shark, it was under the boat. Like, I don't even, well, literally, the blood would have come out of the tender, and that's it when we pull the tender up. It's right there. Look at that. <laughs> that's crazy. It was so sharky out there today. Alrighty. Very good. Currently processing the fish. What a view.
I've never seen a big black one like that. Pure black. It's pretty cool. They're everywhere. There's so many manners. This is sick. Anyway, we're going to go spearing. Unless you want to do another drift. <laughs> See the little fish in there? We were hoping for a repeat from last season with a nice wahoo, but after a day of drifting in the big blue and only seeing a handful of decent mackerel, Michael finally decided to pull the trigger on this Spanish. So good to be back at the reef. Does not disappoint again. Beautiful Spanish mackerel. Um, yeah, we'll share it with some of the cruisers here and uh, eat some sashimi. Probably try to eat it all as raw as possible, really. But nice fat fish. Like, just came in on his own, dropped down, and he was just there. And I took a shot, stoned it. There was nothing else around. And two big whales just come straight on it, come straight up to the surface. And, Screamed for Jess to come over and uh, she thought I'd shot a little trout or something. Oh, I was expecting a jobby because you'd seen a I small saw a jobby. I jobby and I was just pulling in the, uh, pulling in the mono on the side. She saw the mackerel far out. But uh, yeah, no, busy day out there. Really rough, went out pretty wide looking for these and saw a couple and, and decided not to shoot. And Jess was like, why didn't you shoot the mackerel? I was like, all right, I'll shoot the next one to see. And this was it, so yeah, nice solid fish. Super stoked with that. Good to be back. Oh, so nice to be back. what this Spanish is eating. Absolutely full. That's disgusting. It's like a piece of bonito or something. Like a whole tuna. Look at this. What? Oh, this is the head. This is the head. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. It's a full fish. It's a <laughs> okay. little tuna. If you're squeamish, probably tune out right now. Look at that. It's 
That's the full fish. That's disgusting. Does it smell? No, it's fresh. How's that? Okay. <laughs> Look at how excited he is. <laughs> Look, you can even see the way he, the fish has come in and bitten it. Like, yeah. Jaws, he's, oh, ate that, and then just came around and swallowed it that way. See that? Yeah. That's so cool. That's why it's always all like jigsaw puzzled in its gut. Yeah, because they come. I remember Timmy shot a wahoo like that once too. It was exactly the same thing. That's come crazy. And had the big triangle from the wahoo, so you can see those. See those jaws there? I don't know if you can see them. Like super sharp razor mouth. But we'll just come in and just slice that off, and then yeah, swallow the rest. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? So that is fresh Spanish mackerel. That's the one I shot. From the one that Jess shot the other day. So I never eat sashimi the day of shooting, as most people know by now. So I've got fresh Spanish mackerel shoulder sections, bed of julienned carrots, pickled ginger, sesame seeds, fresh spring onions, fried spring onions or shallots, a bit of kewpie, and then I'll have I've got this little dumpling sauce, which I substituted for the soy the other day. It was amazing. And I'm going to put some wasabi in there. And then we're good bowl. to go. In a little bowl. But if that doesn't look good to you, I don't know what we You probably don't eat fish. You see that all day, every day. Yeah. You never get sick of it. A bit of ginger. Is that dumpling sauce? Mm hmm. Good. I might be on to a revelation here. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. We are so stoked to be back at the reef and uh, it's only the tip of the iceberg. So stay tuned and subscribe if you like what you saw. Give it a thumbs up, comment, all that stuff really helps out as much as you hear it all the time, but it does. Uh, but thanks, see you in the next one. Bye. Next episode on Sailing Papau. We get up close and personal with these little guys. And this huge guy. Oh! <laughs> this is crazy! Smaller doggy. Oh, body, body good. Body, body, body good. It's body, body, body good. Oops. How do you know you're a 90s kid? <laughs> you caught me at my most vulnerable moment. <laughs>